Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Uh, today we went to, where did we go? Goodwill, and they had a whole bunch of stuff, uh, so we picked it up. Um, we have four bags and a trolley, which we'll explain. Um, our first segment is Rebecca's favorite find. Um, at the end of the show, Rebecca will tell us what her favorite find is, if I remember the, the script. And then, um, and then we go into our second segment of Where's Forky? Big Forky and Little Forky are hidden somewhere on the set. I'll give you a hint. Little Forky is well hidden today. So you only see parts of him or a small part of him. So keep looking. So uh, we'll go into what we have. We have four bags and a trolley and away we go. So the first bag is all squishies. We have a squishy uh, pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, I guess. We have a squishy Ryan from Ryan's World as a superhero, which is kind of cool because we've never seen him before. Yeah, it's usually it's like puppets. Yeah, it's the plastic toys. We have a squishy owl. That's a giant eyed owl. Yeah. And we have a squishy whatever this guy is. Looks like the almost like the poop emoji, yeah. but it's like, a little different. With a little hat on top uh, of it. I don't know. Unicorn poop? <laughs> hey, gotta I have magical poop some days. Uh here is uh a squishy monster. And then we've seen, uh, this is the Trolls thing, isn't it? Pretty sure. It looks like it would be from Trolls. I think it's the Trolls toy. And it opens somehow. Yeah, it's, it's the Troll doll toys. And it makes sense since it's in with, uh, Polly? Poppy? Poppy. Poppy. Like I remember as poppy seed muffins. Yeah. Poppy with cool green shoes. Fashionable. What was his name? Blueberry. Yeah, I don't remember his name. He was the boy that likes her, I think. And uh, he has purple shoes. We have uh, Philadelphia Eagles playing cards. You can see they're from the NFL. There is a Lego speedboat. You can see. This is part, this is a mirror from the Poppy toy. Here is the propeller for the speedboat. It must have fallen off. I'll put that on. Now it has a propeller. Here is an Albright M Theory. Thyri, Albright and Thyri orthodontics. Um, I was glad there's like no teeth in here. But it looks like some kind of uh, plastic holder so your stuff doesn't get wet. If your dentures? Yeah, well, no, like <laughs> more for ID or your phone or something, but oh. I was hoping it wasn't like a bag of teeth. This is the bag of teeth that we're gonna. Bag of teeth. What? Okay, so then. These were called Mighty Beans, they called and there were these beans? little guys here. I remember Mighty There's five of them. This one is Hot vs. Cold Mighty Bean Moose 2017. And then you have Hungry Eater. Who's this guy? You have Barfing. Um, what? Uh, Mighty Bean. Three Eyed Alien. And one more. Let me see this one. This one says Ringmaster Mighty Bean. He looks like the circus ringmaster. Cool. And then, let's see. We have. Oh, perfect. So this will go with that. Um, Owlette in her vehicle. 
we have a squishy ball, some kind of brown wall. Here is a, let's see, oh, it says John Deere on his hat. It's a John Deere boy figure. Um, there's a spaceman. Astronaut. Astronaut, yep. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Uh, Rocky? Rocky. Yes. Rocky from Paw Patrol. We have a... What does it say? Why am I struggling? Because you like... I don't know. I still can't read it. But it's a rubber skeleton head. We have a... Some cool looking alien dog or something. That's kind of cool looking. Looks like lava. Yeah. But he's like an alien dog or something. Let's see if there's any markings on that. Could be a custom paint job too, but he... He has an X in bones on his head, and sometimes that's that uh, treasure X. Um, like you dig them out of the, it's about the right size too. That's why I'm wondering if it's a treasure X for you. Hmm. And then here's a pterodactyl. Um, it does have markings or like imprints on the back that tells me that it's Play-Doh. So this is probably a pterodactyl from a Play-Doh set. We have a Spider-Man Pez. I was disappointed that the yeah. tricks on uh, the shorts or whatever they're called shows the Pez candy going in the bottom. And Dad told me, yeah, that's not, not true. true. Nope. Disappointment. Here is a keychain called uh, it says smart study but it has a <laughs> funky face on it is that almost like baby shark i think that's baby shark oh uh, okay it is baby shark i think yeah okay so then oh look at that that's cool what okay Aww. so it's a tiny weeble wobble oh, oh boy <laughs> it's oh, a gosh. tiny weeble wobble but that's spun from spongebob yeah, that's like one of the ca extra it's characters. one of the fish guys from Spongebob. And he is a Weeble Wobble. Very cool. Never falls I like that. Oh, I think that's that guy who's like, my leg. Oh, is it? Yeah. Fresh. Well, I know it's not the Bubble Bass guy. No. I know it's not him, but that's cool. So then, um, before I get into the last bag, the one figure in here was Daniel Tiger. Uh, from Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. They made a kid's show that kind of incorporated Mr. Rogers' theme. Um, and now they have Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood instead of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And that is where the trolley comes in. Um, it's a carrying case for Daniel and all of his friends. Uh, just like there was a trolley in um, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers yeah. And it does. Let's see if it works. Oh, you're nifty, go lifty. So that's Prince Wednesday. Come sit by me. <laughs> that's Daniel Tiger. Do you want to take a ride on the trolley with me? And then the trolley. Daniel Tiger's neighborhood, a land of make believe. Won't you ride along with me? Ride along. And then one more. And it actually moves. It has automation. There's some other characters on the other side. There's an owl, a little girl, and his sister, maybe? Ugga mugga. Or is that his mom? That could okay, be his mom. everyone. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, that's his mom. Hiya, toots. That's the girl. Hiya, toots. Oh, that's toots. You'll see. Want to learn about trolleys? There's a book for that. The owl? <laughs> And then the kitty cat. Meow, meow, so cute, meow, meow. I forget her name. Making something is one way to say, I love you. 
Very nice. Hiya, toots. <laughs> okay. No, keep it on, keep it on. Turn. No, turn it off. <laughs> Nifty, go okay. lefty. So, it's going to start awesome. singing the song again. This guy's my favorite so far. Weeble Wobbles were my very first toy memory that I remember having and playing with toys. That was That's where it all began. One. Yep. So, last bag, we have a coiled snake. We have a Hot Wheels uh, Scorpion uh, monster truck. That's kind of cool. Yeah. We have a Home Depot hammer. If I had a hammer, uh, here's a Matchbox garbage truck that you don't want to get stuck behind. If I had a hammer, it's a song. Oh. Is this it? It almost looked like a transformer, but it's a matchbox. Matchbox armored truck. Um, this is Ideal Toy Corp 1982. That's an old one. Ideal's another toy company. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I've been saying Masito and it's pronounced Maisto. It's a BMW 140th scale car. Uh, here's a Matchbox dump truck. Here is a l lobster toy. Oh, it's like a spider. Here's a Jeep from Hot Wheels. Brown Jeep. This is Matchbox Fire Brigade. Here's a Roblox block, but it has other stuff in it. Okay, so here's the Roblox block, and it has a felt alligator. Hmm. It has a a uh, little bunny. It has a felt frog. And a small rubber kitten, half inch. That's like a choking hazard. Yep. Okay. So we have a Hot Wheels Green Lantern car. Trash. Free trash. No way. I knew this bag was like from the 1980s. Because there's something in here that I specifically bought the bag for. That I'm going to be. It's the last thing. But I'm going to save this one too. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. sounds like a little kid. I, well, just wait till I tell you what that is. Here's a little car. It's not marked. This is a. Okay. Matchbox uh, from 1975, police car. Wow, this is a nice bag. Back in my day. We have some kind of helmet, but it's a rolly um, helmet, something. Almost looks like Iron Man. Uh, here is. That looks like from planes, though. I was about to say from cars. Disney? I believe it's planes because these were the guys that were dropped in for the, um, to put take care, put out the fire on the ground, yeah. He's a little, uh, like, bobcat. Oh, okay. Here is a plastic snake. Um, here's a generic... Race car. Okay. We have another. Oh, this is a Cobra. You can see by the markings on the back. Surprisingly enough, I've never run into a snake before. Have were you ever in the pool when we had the snakes in the pool? The snakes no? in the pool? They were little, little ones. Yeah. Ooh, luckily I it was wasn't. a rescue helicopter. Uh, it says Matchbox on it. 
Here is a Matchbox 1976 uh, tank. Here's another one of those helmets. Um, not sure what they go to. That one doesn't look like Iron Man, though. Okay, so I'm down to the two cool things. Uh, the first is... Move that out of the way. It is an Ertl. E-R-T-L is a brand of... Um, that, uh, it's a toy brand that makes like farm tractors and all kinds of die cast cars, a lot of bigger scale cars. Hmm. This one happens to be, it says Boss Hogs Cadillac, Warner Brothers Incorporated, 1981, um, Ertl, Dyersville, Iowa. It's in really good shape. And so let's see, this is what it looks like. You can see that it still says Boss Hog on the side. Um, the tires are not bent, and it still has the horns um, on the front of the Cadillac. Okay, so Boss Hog is a character from Dukes of Hazard. You've heard of that? No. It was a TV show in the 70s, 80s, somewhere in there. And it was about the southern people avoiding the cops. Um, stuff like that, having fun. Boss Hog was like the, the bad guy, he was a big fat guy, and um, he was always trying to put them in jail and steal their stuff, like steal their land. The and, big fat guy? Yeah, yeah, he was, he was one of the, he was the bad guy. But they made, I had this, the General Lee is their car. This is Boss Hog's Cadillac. So, very cool and it's in really good shape. Was that your favorite find? So that's my unexpected find. This is what I was buying the bag for, and I was like, what? And I found it. So this is a Constructicon uh, from the 1980s. This is a Decepticon, but they were um, it transforms like this. Actually, this is actually transforming. Sure. A, a sure. transformer. Um, you can see that this patch here, the black one near my finger, that's where you would put your uh, hand on and it goes by heat and you can tell if they were a good guy or a bad guy. Like they send so like... let's see if it still works. My... <sighs> Don't make yourself cough. Well, no, um, it, a lot of times after the years, it does not work uh, anymore. But you can see that it's supposed to have that Decepticon symbol right there. So you were able to convert these four, um, I think there's five or six of them, uh, construction vehicles into one big um, robot. Hmm. So very cool. I was just going to see if there's, I see the writing. Let's see what year it says. So it does say Hasbro, 1980, 1984. Uh, Takara Company, Japan, 1980, 1984. So this is 1984. Um, how old is that? Hmm. Too old that I wasn't even alive. 38 years. So then the Boss Hogs Cadillac is 1981. How about that one? So that's three more years. It's 41 years old. This little car here is 41 years old. It's kind of, it's, Isn't that neat? And it's in that good condition. Yeah. Because you can see that it still, it runs, uh, like the tires still move good. Have you found Very exciting. Have you found some that aren't in con good condition? I probably have my original one from the one I grew up with. Huh. Uh, and that one probably has the tires messed up. And Did I you... know the Boss Hog's gone, like, on the side of it. So, Now you can add cool. that to your original one and play with them. Yep. I sure can. I gotta keep them aside. 
Okay, Rebecca, what is your favorite find of the night? I would have to say probably, yeah, probably the alligator. The felt alligator. Let's see if there's any markings on it. I don't see anything, but he's pretty neat. We'll put him right here. So that leaves us with where's Forky? Uh, Big Forky's right here in the other armpit. And then Little Forky is up here in the claw. You can just see his little red hand. So if you were able to find him, you win extra points on the catalog. Yeah, definitely on the so, catalog. Great job. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, th these are the kind of finds um, that I really enjoy finding. Things from my childhood. Um, so let's see, 81, I was six years old. So my brothers and sister probably had these toys, uh, at least the Cadillac, and we're playing with them, and I got them as a hand-me-down. So, so they cool. kind of broken them. Yeah, what was this other one, the, uh, the Ideal Car? Where was that one? I thought that one said the 70s. No, it says 1982. I thought one of these had the 70s, though. Oh, made in England, 1975, uh, Matchbox Rollomatics, number 20 police patrol, um, Lesney products. So Matchbox used to be owned by an English company, and this was one of their cars back in the day. Hmm. So 1975 is the year I was born. So this so car is as old as I am. What, you're 47? I'll be 47 this year, yeah. Oh, uh, so it's 46 years old. Very cool. <laughs> so, final thoughts, Rebecca? Not that I can think of any. Awesome. Have a great night. They're going to come falling in after we put the That's all right. camera. That's alright. We'll gonna... have other episodes. That's true. We have lots of more stuff to go through. Uh, I believe we have a set change coming up. Um, I also have visitors coming and I'm going to try and get some of the stuff. And if, if I get really motivated, I want to set up the studio in the other room right. and I've been promising for two years. So we'll see. Well, you showed it in the beginning and then we just totally, well, I haven't done anything cause life happens. So life def definitely yeah. happens. Have a great night and we'll see you next time.